Hey guys, welcome to Freak Motion. Today I will show you awesome looking text animation inside of After Effects. By using this technique, you can create various type of animation. You can use this effect to create titles for your video and projects. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. First, create a composition with full HD settings as usual. Before moving forward to the video, hitting the red subscribe button will be awesome. Also, hit the bell icon for all the latest updates. Let's take the type tool, and type your text. Adjust the scale, and position a little bit. Make sure your paragraph is center aligned. Now open the text layer, click on this animate button, and select opacity. Then click on this add button, and select tracking. First turn down the opacity all the way to zero. Then go to 10 frames, and change the offset value to minus 100. Then add a keyframe on offset. Go forward to few frames, and change its value to 100. Open Advanced option, and change the shape to ramp up. Also increase the ease high and ease low value all the way to 100 for smooth animation. Now if we change the tracking value, then we can see a cool effect on out text animation. Either you can set the tracking value to negative value or positive value. Anything you want. And in both case, output will be different. Let's set it on negative value for now. Close the properties of the layer. Let's add some effects on the text. For doing this, let's create a duplicate of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Drop Shadow. Apply it on the layer. Change the shadow color to text color. Increase the opacity value all the way to 100. Also check the shadow only box. Increase the distance value a little bit, and softness value a little bit. Then go to effects and presets, and search for Venetian blinds, and apply it on the layer. Change its direction to 135 degree. Same as drop shadow direction. Now if we change the transition completion value, we can see the effect behind the text. Adjust the value the way you like the effect. You can play the width value also. Then go to effects and presets, and search for rough and edges. Apply it to the layer. Decrease the border value to a low value, something like 0.5 to 6. Change the edge sharpness value to 0. Play with the values to get your desired output. Now if we change this evolution value, you can see the movement on the shadow. On the first frame, add a keyframe on evolution, then go to the end of the timeline, and change its value to 5 or any random value. Select the both text layer, and pre-composed it. Then go to Effects and Presets, and search for Radial Blur Effect. Change the type to Zoom. You can change the zoom value from here. Let's keep this for now. Again search for Shift Channels effect. Apply it on the layer. Now keep the red channel on, and turn off the other two. Like this. Now make a duplicate of this layer, by pressing Ctrl plus D. And keep the green channel on, and turn off the other two. Like this. Then duplicate this layer again, and for this one, K 
keep the blue channel on, and turn off the other two. Now select the top two layer, and change its blending more to screen. You can toggle switch if you can find the blending mode option here. Now, select all the three layers, and press P to open position. Then hold ALT, and click on this this stopwatch icon to add an expression. And type wiggle 2 comma 10. Copy this expression, and paste on other two layers by the similar way. Now if we play the animation, we can see the effects around the text. And you can see the glitchy effect here also. You can slow down the movement by decreasing these values. It seems fine to me now. Let's create a new adjustment layer. Go to Effects and Presets, and search for Optical Compensation Effect. Apply it on the layer. Check in the Reverse Lens Distort. Let's add the same expression on the field of view. Wiggle 10, 50. Now you can see a cool bouncy movement on the text. You can use this for any kind of music videos. Let's create a solid layer for background. Apply fill effect to change the color. Also place it on the bottom of the all layers. On the adjustment layer, you can add noise effect. Increase the noise amount to 15%. And your animation is ready for use. Play with the other settings, to get some different results. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching the video, we'll see you next week. Till then have fun, and stay safe.